Pages disease of the nipple. The Pages disease of the nipple is a rare manifestation of ductal carcinoma in situ or invasive ductal carcinoma. This is a manifestation of ductal carcinoma. Coming to its morphology, grossly, the skin of the nipple and the areola shows ulceration with oozing which resembles eczema. And there will be an underlying ductal carcinoma either in situ or invasive ductal carcinoma. Next is the microscopy of Paget's disease. Skin lesions are seen at the nipple and the skin lesions consist of clusters of malignant cells called as Paget cells. They are seen in the epidermis without basement membrane infiltration. So they are confined only to the epidermis. The cluster of malignant cells are called as Paget cells. These Paget cells are extension from the underlying ductal carcinoma via the lactiferous sinuses. So from the ductal carcinoma which is underlying the breast, the Paget cells extend via the lactiferous sinus into the nipple. Then the Paget cells are detected by the nipple biopsy or cytologic examination of the exudate. The Paget cells are nothing but large spherical cells with clear cytoplasm and hyperchromatic nuclei. So the Paget cells resemble these cells. Large spherical cells with clear cytoplasm and hyperchromatic nuclei. These are the Paget cells. The immunohistochemistry shows underlying carcinoma which is usually poorly differentiated. So the underlying ductal carcinoma is usually poorly differentiated. This is ER negative and overexpressed HER2 nu. So the underlying carcinoma is usually ER negative and HER2 nu positive. ER is nothing but estrogen receptor. Next the clinical features of Paget's disease of the nipple. There is unilateral erythematous eruption in the nipple and the areola with scale crust. Then there is pruritus that is itching. Then there will be palpable mass in 50 to 60 percent of the cases which suggests of the underlying invasive carcinoma. If there is no palpable mass it means the underlying pathology is ductal carcinoma in situ but not invasive carcinoma. The clinical features include unilateral erythematous eruption in the nipple and the areola with scale crust, pruritus, palpable mass in 50 to 60 percent and in other 50 to 40 percent there is no palpable mass which suggests there is underlying DCIS, ductal carcinoma in situ. Lastly the prognosis. The prognosis depends on the features of the underlying ductal carcinoma. If it is well differentiated then it has good prognosis and if it is poorly differentiated or undifferentiated then the prognosis is bad. So this is all about the Paget's disease of the nipple. Thank you.